Alright, I think I might go and investigate that statue. Before I go up these stairs. Maybe I'll go up this no, I'll just have a little look up the stairs, methinks. Yep, there is a way in there. Yeah, okay, but not yet. It's a big place. Ah, I see. There's sort of the There's the main bit there. Yeah, let's have a look up here. Um, oh, is this for Bounder? Maybe not. New quest! Okay. And a new codex. Um, codex. Okay. The Great Warden base of Soldier's Peak was built in the middle of the Glory Age, several decades after the Second Blight was ended. Before then, Great Warden in Ferelden would take up residence in castles and forts that belonged to generous nobles. Warden Commander Gaspar Asturin desired to fortify the Great Quarters where his forces could train and live. He planned that Soldier's Peak would be uh, a city into itself. The defeat of the Darkspawn of the Archdemon and the Archdemon Zazikel was fresh in the minds of the Ferelden people and many were willing to donate gold to build Commander Asturian's fortress. Soldier's Peak was fully completed within 10 years. That's quite fast. Dedicated to the Maker in 934 Glory. We've covered some of the history at the base of Soldier's Peak. There may be more to learn, and perhaps you should seek it out. All right then. Hmm. Well, that was that was worth doing. In we go then, I guess. In we go. Men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns! Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows! So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. <clears throat> Sounds like there is greatness in your blood. Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. Generations of Drydens have said that our stock were lions. Fierce, proud, and noble. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Doesn't look like there's going to be a fight here. Where the hell did we come in at? Because, I mean, this dot is... way smaller than the one we, um... And so is that. Well, that's out at least, but yeah, there must have been like a little antechamber and then this room because we came through a set of double doors. And what is this? A statement of defiance. In these grounds, virtuous men stood against a tyrant. They stood defiant and stood for freedom and they died. It's signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Alan's forces. Read the names of the fallen. Captain Merlo, the Black Ferret. Jethro Lopez, Sir Derek of Olay, and Jason the Longbow. Alan the Quibbler, the Cartography Martyr, David the Silent, Dustin the Colorblind, Ebinger the 
Bovine Betherin, Feral the Feral, Feral the Feral, Sir Graham the Untiring, and Jason uh, Sons the Argonauts. Just Jason of the Argonauts, huh? Jason of the Argonauts. Continue. Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lacuna, Mad Dog, Simadellos, Matthias the Bloody, McQuirk the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical Malefactor, Om the Stretched, and Pakrat de Dirksen. Sergeant Red Morrison, Santos the Silent Scimitar, Vidarek Elric, Weak Eye Santos, and We Burn the Exhaustive. <laughs> And will burn the exhaustive fire. All right then, Jason. I'm sure there were there were more notes in there other than sort of like Easter eggs other than Jason of the Argonauts, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll find a golden fleece in here at some point. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. Break room, barracks. Mess hall. We've got shield cover on there. Missile attacks. We might not need that. Let's just turn that off for now. Very well. Charge! <laughs> oh boy. Well, um. Ouch. Get in there. Get in there. Right, taunt them. Okay, Luya. We need you to get over there, basically. Yeah, you're healing. We're going to trip you in that. Okay, and then... Also get the hell over here. Bounder, do... Yeah, awesome stuff. Wish I had two healers now. Shoot them! Okay, we need to concentrate our fire. Probably on the arcane horror. So, fight the arcane horror. You're stunned, at you, but... Miasma. Oof. And paralyze. You should run out reasonably soon, except, yeah, you're already dead. We might have to reload this one, you know. We may well have to. I might do it now. I will. <laughs> Just to save a bit of time, the inevitable death will happen, because I don't have um, revive, which I you know, overlooked when I made my party selections, honestly. Alright, before we go in there... Okay. Alright, stop, 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 stop. You, get back here. I want to stand here, basically. Let's have a glyph of warding here. Where? You stop as well. Point me. No, stop it. Stop yes. it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's a big that's a fireball, yeah, that's a fireball. That hurts. That hurts. But We're in a better position here. We are in a better position. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. So you guys attack him, you attack him, I am gonna heal. Oh, you didn't taunt, did you? Please taunt. Because this is not what I want. Thank you. Paralyze, I don't think, worked. Right, let's get... Repulsion. Oh, now I'm repulsing them the wrong way, because they just advanced a little bit too far. Dagnabbit. But he's almost dead, so let's concentrate on him. Yeah, he's almost dead. Let's heal Alistair. Hey! Make it okay, good. That thing is dead. You guys attack that. You guys attack that. This shouldn't be too bad. Liliana's almost dead, but she should be okay because she's out of harm's way now, I hope. Um, maybe have a Mabari Crunch. Let's try this hell. You are paralyzed, aren't you? And about to die. Not much I can do about that, really. 
Ouch. Alright, well, we're still okay. Because I think one of them just died. Yeah, so we got one to take out. And you will have one of these. Oh, Liliana. Oh, I don't know how she um, succumbed. Really need to heal Bounder. Really need to heal Bounder. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah. That went alright ish, I suppose. Wake up. Alright, injury kits, injury kits. Because you have suffered a torn jugular. Ouch. Um, yeah, so that. And Liana suffered a concussion, which obviously can't, won't be good either. So there we go. Alright, let's. Um, did that guy have anything on him? The big. the horror? No. Fine. Now, this is pretty tough. There's a note there. Let's read that. Yes. A letter from someone. Van Rathen Wolf. Uh, Sophia. Good. Okay, this is relevant. Al Ruan and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruan line is no more than the Arling belongs to the crown. And the Arling belongs to the crown. For now, Alan believed Ruan was plotting against him. Ruan criticized the king's pen, um, spending on winter send. Um, that is all. It was an idle word spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is filled with madness and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Yeah, so the king was a bit mad. That's why they essentially turned against him. Ah, yes. So we got some barracks, we got archives, we got a mess hall, which I can't... Yeah, okay, we'll do the barracks. And I'm off. Enemies! Hello, guys. Okay. Yes. Are they all skeleton archers? Probably. Well, now you need that on. And we will do... Glyph of Repulsion... Here, maybe? Doesn't that's doing a whole lot, is it? But yeah. Arches, 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 everywhere, arches. Done. Shoot at them. We want a glyph of... Yeah, paralysis on them. Right. Okay, I'll stop one of them. Start healing you. He's getting battered. Yeah, you batter him as well. Concentrate on that guy. Um, we shall try to... Yeah, warding. Good, 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 good. Um, let's also fire that at him. If we have time. And now we will heal Alistair again. What else we got? Neutralization. No real need to. Okay, he's dead, so now we can begin to slaughter them. Yep, this should be fine. Take that. Good old Bounder. Let's heal all the What are you doing? Alright, so that's that. And there's some loots in here, which pleases me. And another note. What have we got there? Injury kit. Nice, that's relevant. I need that. Aha! Uh -huh. I could do that for you. I will. Good girl! Ooh. Expert called iron rune. Plus six damage versus undead. That could be pretty useful. Weapon stand, fire arrows.
Lyrium and money. As you like. Hmm. And a note. Another plea. <clears throat> Soldier's Peak is more than we bargained for. There is a sinister, uh, a sinister magic at work there. The men are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fallen return to life and attack again and again, and we are sorted by dark creatures the likes of which I have never seen. Whoever is responsible um, is intent on destroying us all, the King's army and the Grey Wardens both. Send help, we cannot last much longer. Hmm. Don't say who it's to. Interesting. Oh, so we have to go through this way. And here. No worries. So through there is the mess hall, up here and there is the archives, and then stairs up. Another fight in here, methinks. Very well. Maybe not. Maybe just a chest. Plus 10 physical resistance would be good for uh, Alistair. Bones, 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 bones. Alright, so we've got a corridor beyond here. Off I go. Oh, bloody hell. Archivist, okay. <laughs> So yeah, you can get in there. Um, I wonder what the hell you're doing. <laughs> you as far away as possible. And you really. Cold on the demon. Does not like. Mm, mm. Okay, we'll deal with these two first as we've pretty much... Pretty much got them done. Anyway, I'm worried about him. I'm very worried about him, indeed. Oh, right, he's just gonna. Okay, we should just go for him because he's summoning more. Okay, he doesn't like that. Maybe we could possibly paralyze him. Maybe not. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. That's not so good. I'm going to take rapid shot off so I can maybe do some more critical hits with her, possibly. Um, not taking that much damage. And they are. So that is good. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We have done well. Well done, Liana. Leliana. Leliana. Not Liana. All right. Demons have lyrium. I like lyrium and gold. I also done. like gold. By gold, I mean money. But yeah, same difference. No, a book. Book is badly burnt, you can make out a word here and there, and that's all. Oh. Oh! The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one? Rebellion? 
What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Hmm. Maybe there are other records. They were rebelling against the king, though. In a way. Maybe there are other records. We can only hope. We can only hope, indeed. Well, there is a book over there, so let's check that out. As he approached his 60th year, rumours swirled that the corruption of Warden Commander Asturian's blood was beginning to take its toll. According to reports from that time, command, the, the Commander experienced terrifying white waking dreams and heard his name whispered in the dark corners of Soldier's Peak. It is said that uh, Asturian would send, spend hours locked alone in the Great Hall of the base, muttering to himself, though no one was able to make out what he was saying. Many also believe that Asturian began in secret to draw upon plans to expand his fortress, adding to it hidden passages and alcoves, or to protect himself in the shadows from the shadows that pursued him. No one knows whether um, Asturian was able to complete his project, mm, for his deterioration and, um, had become obvious to anyone who spent any amount of time with him. He was quickly replaced by Warden Commander Frieda Halwick. Asturian was taken to Orzammar where he submitted to the calling, last strike of the Grey Warden, and went to his death with honour. Passages and archives, you say, and a quest updated. Yep. More history of, Sol of Soldier's Peak. Stairs up! I noticed in this, in this game, um, it's sort of an, the inverted dungeons. Um, you know, it gets harder the higher up you go, whereas sort of in traditional Dungeons and Dragons, dungeons get harder the lower you go in them. Whether that's like a, a um, purposeful twist or not. 